I've come to share some music written by Fred Small. Fred is quite an astonishing human being who you may or may not have heard of and who you may or may not know has a deep, deep connection to the United Universalist Church. Fred began his work career as an attorney and then moved away from that when it became clear to him and to many other people that he was a brilliant, gifted singer-songwriter. And he started writing songs mostly about human beings, about people he knew or knew of, about hope, about the waste of our, of our precious resources. And, and he built a, ma a fabulous, fabulous repertoire of inspiring songs. And I met Fred um, in the late 70s when I was working as a theatrical interpreter. And I had the honor and the joy of spending months and months at different times with his music in preparation for interpreting his concerts in American Sign Language. Well, Fred and I moved in different directions, and he went north to Massachusetts, and I settled in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and he turned his attention to a spiritual life. He went to the Harvard Divinity School, and he became a UU pastor. And then, more recently, he moved kind of laterally, and he's now working at the first parish in, Cham in Cambridge, Massachusetts, uh, and then eventually to the Arlington Street Church, where he is director of Faith Outreach for Climate Exchange, which advocates for carbon pricing legislation in Massachusetts. So he's still doing wonderful work, and I'm delighted to share a few of his songs. Some of these songs are precious to me because I sang three of them every single night when putting my three kids to sleep. And some of you know, at least this next song, although it's been changed a bit. The song is called Everything Possible. Well, it was written in the, in the 1970s, and a couple of years ago, someone had a great idea. Let me take this out and hold it. Okay. Uh, someone had a great idea to turn the song into a children's book, a picture book. And Fred said, great. I've been waiting for the opportunity to upgrade the song. Why? When this song came out, we thought, oh my gosh, he's singing to everybody. But we didn't know what inclusivity meant then was not the whole deal. So he made a few simple changes to make the song even more inclusive. So I invite you, if you know the song, to sing along, but listen for the few changes. They're small, but they're really powerful. We have cleared off the table, leftovers saved, washed the dishes, put them away. I have told you a story, tucked you in tight at the end of your knockabout day. As the moon sets its sails to carry you to sleep over the midnight sea, I will sing you a song no one sang to me, may it keep you good company. You can be anybody you want to be. You can love whomever you will. You can travel any country where your heart leads and know that I will love you still. You can live by yourself. You can gather friends around. You can choose one special one. And the only measure of your words and your deeds will be the love you leave behind when you're gone. Some children grow up strong and bold, while some are quiet and kind. Some race on ahead, some take it slow, some go in their own way and time. Some women love women, some men love men, some leave every label behind. You can dream all the day, never reaching the end of every Everything possible you'll find. 
Don't be rattled by names, by taunts, by games, but seek out spirits true. If you give your friends the best part of yourself, they will give the same back to you. You can be anybody you want to be. You can love whomever you will. You can travel any country that your heart leads and know that I will love you still. You can live by yourself. You can gather friends around. You can choose one special one. And the only measure of your words and your deeds will be the love you leave behind when you're done. Thank you. <clears throat> I decided to sing five songs. So this is the second one. This is a song that I have always loved and only recently I have, it, struck me that it's not just a great story about an actual true event that happened, but it's a perfect song about seeking your authentic self and finding freedom in that. The story is about a polar bear. And I will sing you the story. It actually happened just like this. In 1932, at a zoo in Los Angeles, a polar bear named Larry performed for the crowd. They'd cheer aloud. He'd go slipping and sliding, jumping and diving. The people would laugh. They'd take his photograph. Larry was born at the zoo. He never knew anything colder than Los Angeles, which is warmer than Alaska where Larry's parents were born. Larry the polar bear, he'd never harm a hair on a child's head. He'd do tricks for them at the Los Angeles Zoo as he'd been taught to by his keeper, Fran. Fran would teach him new tricks, a funny pose, scratching his nose. He knew there'd be a fish at the end. Fran was his friend. One day she said, Larry, you'll be in the movies with real movie stars, a few simple tricks, and lots of fish to be filmed on location in Alaska. And so they rehearsed for Larry's big scene. He was supposed to be mean and growl at a woman who was rescued by a man who scared him away. It was stupid, but fun to do. The director would frown and jump up and down, kind of like the chimps at the zoo. Larry the polar bear, he'd never harm a hair on a child's head. He'd do tricks for them at the Los Angeles Zoo, as he'd been taught to by his keeper, Fran. At last came the day of the trip. They put Larry in a crate, 12 foot by 8, and they sailed aboard a steamship. The journey was long and boring. Fran would visit, she'd talk to him, and bring him his favorite fish. Then the noise and the rumbling stopped. They lowered him down, put the crate on the frozen ground, and opened it. Fran said, Larry, we're here. It's time for your tricks. And Larry appeared. He looked out at the gray-bearing sea, squinted and puzzled put his nose to the wind, and the scent of the seal made him tremble. He smelled the fox in its lair, the weasel and hare, felt lichen and moss neath his toes, and he looked at the tundra and ice, he looked at the loon in the sky, and he ran. Slowly at first, kind of lumbering, he ran. Growing steam, growing memories from within. 
old and deep, growing stronger. To run and to jump, to dive and to float, cold at his throat, but warm inside his fur and hide. Ocean ice all around him, he ran, he ran, he ran, and he swam away. <laughs> So don't be stuck in the zoo. <laughs> in Los Angeles, oh, there's a lot. There's a lot to think about there. <laughs> what we do to animals. Um, I'm going to really change the the mood here because I'd like to sing a song that is again about uh, an actual event. Sadako Sasaki was a young child, a, a very young child at the time of the bombing of Hiroshima. And although she survived the bomb uh, and she grew into a beautiful, beautiful young child, she was struck down by leukemia. And her story was, um, has really touched, continues to touch so many people. Her brother was older than she and he survived and he said about her, one compassionate heart can create small peace around you. Small peace can then lead to big peace in the end. Sadako taught us how important it is to have compassionate heart for her dear life. I believe this compassionate heart is the thing each of us need to keep in our minds. And folding paper cranes can be the first step to connect our hearts together. It was written by Masahiro Sasaki, the older brother of Sadako. You probably know of the tradition of folding paper cranes. If you fold a thousand cranes, it will take pain away. We know this. Sadly, we see them draped at sites of many terrible bombings and horrible events. And, and this is still, uh, still resonates within us. So I ask you again to recall the song we started with early today. This is our cry. This is our prayer. Peace in the world. Baby blinks her eyes as the sun falls from the sky. She feels the stings of a thousand fires as the city around her dies. Some sleep beneath the rubble, some wake to a different world. From the crying babe will grow a laughing girl. Ten summers fade to autumn, ten winter snows have passed. She's a child of dreams and dances. She's a racer strong and fast. But the headaches come ever more often, and the dizziness always returns. And the word she hears is leukemia, and it burns. Cranes over Hiroshima, White and red and gold flicker in the sunlight like a million vanished souls. I will fold these cranes of paper to a thousand one by one, and I'll fly away when I am done. Her ancestors knew the legend, if you make a thousand cranes from squares of colored paper, it will take the pain away. With loving hands she folds them, 644, till the morning her stumbling fingers can't fold any more. Cranes over Hiroshima, white and red and gold flicker in the sunlight like a million vanished souls i will fold these cranes of paper to a thousand one by one and then fly away when i am done 
Her friends did not forget her. Crane after crane they made until they reached a thousand and then laid them upon her grave. People from everywhere gathered together a prayer they said and they wrote the words in granite so none can forget. This is our cry, this is our prayer, peace in the world, this is our cry. Peace in the world. This is our cry. This is our cry. This is our prayer. This is our prayer. Peace in the world. This is our cry. No more Hiroshima's. This is our prayer. No more Nagasaki. Peace in the world. This is our prayer. No more Bakhmut. Peace in the world. No more South Sudan. No more Kibbutz Be'eri. No more Khan Yunis. Peace in the world. Thank you. The memorial, the children's memorial in Hiroshima has a statue at the very top of this child holding a paper crane. Okay, ready to clap? Peace is the bread we break. Love is a river rolling. Life is a chance we take when we make this earth our home. Gonna make this earth our home. Feel the cool breeze blowing through the smoke and the heat. Hear the gentle voices and the marching feet. Singing, call back the fire, draw the missiles down, and we'll call this earth our home. Peace is the bread we break. Love is a river rolling. Life is the chance we take when we make this earth our home. Gonna make this earth our home. We have known the atom, the power and pain. We've seen people fall beneath the killing rain. If the mind still reasons and the soul remains, it shall never be again. Peace is the bread we break. Love is a river rolling. Life is a chance we take when we make this earth our home. Gotta make this earth our home. Peace grows from a tiny seed as the acorn grows into the tallest tree. Many years ago, I heard a soldier say, when people want peace, better get out of the way. Peace is the bread we break. Love is a river rolling. Life is the chance we take when we make this earth our home. Gonna make this earth our home. Peace is the bread we break. Love is a river rolling. Life is a chance we take when we make this earth our home. Gonna make this earth our home. Well, now it gets hard because I love so many of Fred Small's songs, and they run the gamut. He wrote a song once because a woman in Italy wrote to an airline and said, I see billboards for your airline. I never see anybody who looks like me. And so he wrote a song called Big Italian Woman. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote a song called Leslie is Different about a retired nurse and her uh, in Milwaukee. Um, she got a call one day after her children were grown and gone 
And the nurse at the hospital said, we've had this child in the ICU for months and months. He's been abandoned. He's blind. He has terrible, terrible cerebral palsy. He'll never walk. He'll never talk. We don't know what's going on inside him, and we can't keep him any longer. Would you take this child? She said, yes. She said, yes. And for 16 years, she and her husband took care of this child. Their grown children said, he's going to break your heart. What are you doing? He needs to be someplace where he can be cared for. Until one night, in the middle of the night, she heard, she heard music. And she thought her husband had left the television on. And over those 16 years, this little person had heard her play the piano and had heard music on the radio all day. And he crawled over to the piano in the middle of the night. He hauled himself up and he started playing a Tchaikovsky concerto. And she said, Leslie is different like everyone else in the world. And Fred wrote his song. And he wrote a song about the Appaloosa horses, the horses that were all but destroyed in the, in, the, uh, in the United States government's attempt to wipe out Chief Joseph's tribe as they crisscrossed the border between the United States and Canada. They killed so many people and all the horses, except now, every once in a while, a colt is born with interesting coloring and great spirit. And people know that the heart of the Appaloosa is still alive. So he's written all of these songs. And I thought, how do I pick one more? So I got an idea. I thought maybe we can sing a song and send it up to Fred. What do you say? <laughs> I have a feeling that when people like this gather, when we come together with hearts open, that something else opens up. And we don't know where that energy is going. So I thought maybe we could just channel it and send it towards Fred Small, who used to have a shock of black hair. He used to have such a great head of hair, and now he's completely bald. <laughs> so I want all those little prickly places that used to have hair follicles to light up on his head and when he, when he hears us sing. So we're going to sing a very simple song that was written by Rena Her name has just slipped my mind. I, it will come back to me. It will come back to me. Um, Rina is a, a liturgist. They write beautiful music, a lot of it in Hebrew, a lot of it uh, wordless melodies. But she all, they also write in, uh, in English songs that are meant to bring people together. And so I chose this one to sing with you. And it's a very simple melody. So I'll sing the melody first. Da 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 We will not underestimate our power together we are strong we will not underestimate our power any longer we know that to are strong. Don't be afraid of harmony. We will not, we will not underestimate our power any longer. We know that 
but together we are strong. Da da da. Let's sing it for the children one last time. We will not underestimate our power any longer. We know that together we are strong. Rena Branson.